Here is a Liquala Fordiana. And uh, I've had this one for about a year and a half in the ground. And uh, it seems to be okay with the, uh, the culture that it's experiencing here, the, the conditions for growing. Um, we didn't have a cold winter last year, and I hope we don't have one this year. We're, we're not supposed to with that uh, big El Nino. I don't think it's going to be too much of a rough winter, but we'll see. This is uh, pushing late October. I think it's the 18th. So we'll see how the next winter fares, how this fares through the next winter. Uh, these come from southeastern China and Hainan Island. Let me go around the other side and get you a better perspective. And they're the kind of Liquala that have the deeply divided, um, it's described as having a coast of palmate leaf, which I don't understand when it's that deeply divided, but I'm not an expert, so I'll certainly yield to the experts and the authorities on Costa Palmate. I always interpreted that as being some sort of a recurved form in the center spine of the leaf, uh, but I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. So anyway, uh, Costa Palmate deeply divided, a uh, little prey morse tips on the end there, uh, which is, you know, there's a lot of Laquala that have this kind of look. Uh, this one stays dainty and uh, doesn't get super big or tall. Uh, maybe tall as Liquala's go, but it's not a large um, uh, specimen. And uh, this kind of speaks more for those uh, sort of entire leaved or orbicular uh, Liquala. This is a Sumawangi eye, uh, kind of a pale looking one, but chugging along, I guess. Uh, so, anyway, this thing's uh, the one source that I was looking at said that this thing is rated zone 9B, which would impress the heck out of me if it's, if it's cold tolerant. I figured it to be kind of. Uh, uh, not wimpy, but not uh, anything that would want to take too much cold. So anyway, the Qualifordiana, uh, really underused palm for this area. Uh, again, the year and a half that I've had it, it's not protested anything. Uh, unlike that Sumawangi eye, which is supposed to be good for this area, and I'm I'm just getting a little bit of chlorosis on it, and I'm not really uh, getting a lot of uh, speed out of it. So not I doubt they're fast to begin with. But anyway, back to Fordiana. Uh, just a good-looking little palm. Hopefully, it'll it'll stay compact. 